Yo, what's up guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix your white Apple MacBook that does not turn on. Now, the first thing you want to do is charge your MacBook for 30 minutes just to be sure that the battery has some type of charge inside of it. If you connect your charger and the light does not lit up, there's a good chance that the charger needs to be replaced. If it's not the charger, it's that the charging port needs to be replaced. This part only costs six to ten dollars online. You could buy the part and pay only for labor work. Have somebody else install it for you. The best thing you could do is go to Google Maps or Apple Maps and search up laptop repairs. And there should be a couple of shops near your location that you can go to, or you could call them up and tell them your situation. Now, if it's not the charger and it's not the charging port, then the first thing you want to do is hold and press the power button for 30 to 60 seconds. If that doesn't work, disconnect the charger off the laptop, make sure the laptop is off, which is most likely the case. And what you wanna do is hold the power button for 10 seconds. Then after those 10 seconds are over, you connect the charging port. Now keep on holding the power button for 15 more seconds. If this solution doesn't work, Turn over the laptop on the back side and you want to unscrew all eight screws from the back lid. From here, remove the back plate like this. Now the first thing you want to do is disconnect your RAM. This laptop has two memory RAMs installed. Okay, from here, take off both of the RAM sticks. and install one of the RAM sticks only. If your laptop turns on, then that means the other RAM stick does not work, it's defective. Now, if your laptop does not turn on, remove the first RAM stick and install the second one. If your laptop turns on, then that means the other RAM stick is defective. If you've done this and your laptop still doesn't turn on, then there's a good chance that both of the RAM sticks are bad. Try to see if you could find another RAM stick that you could install and hopefully that should fix the problem. Now the next thing you want to do is disconnect the hard drive. So you want to unscrew the first screw which is right here. So unscrew it all the way, it's going to stay in there. And the next screw is right here. You want to unscrew this part. Alright. Yeah, that's not supposed to come out. It's supposed to be in there. And unscrew the second screw. Okay. It comes off like this. Now, with the tab right here, you wanna grab it and pull it out, just slightly. Pull it out slightly. Make sure you don't do it very fast because you could rip the ribbon connection, which is right here. And what you wanna do from here is disconnect the hard drive. Um, it's all oh, look, you could just pull it out from the sides with your fingernails. Make sure you don't pull it out too hard or too fast. And there you go, disconnects like that. Disconnect it for around 30 to 60 seconds and leave it disconnected for that long. And uh, once you wait it, just blow in the inside. Make sure there isn't any lint or dirt inside here, and make sure to blow right here too. Now after you finish, you want to connect it again, like that, and you want to connect it. If the laptop doesn't turn on, then there's a good chance that the hard drive is bad as well. So you want to make sure that you are 100% sure that that's the problem so that you can replace it. And now one of the last things is the battery. This a brick right here, this rectangle object right here is, a, is the um, laptop's battery. To disconnect it, it's very easy. There's a slot right here as you can see. With a tool like this, make sure it's like plastic, you get right under it and you could disconnect it very easily. So you want to go like, uh, you want to start from the edge. You want to disconnect it very slow. Start from the sides. 
and work your way around. And there you go. It disconnects like that. Leave the battery disconnected for around one or two minutes. Leave it disconnected and see if it works. If you connect it back again after the two minutes, after you connect it and the laptop does not turn on, then there's a good chance that the battery is defective. Over time, all laptop batteries will become defective. Now, if none of these solutions work in this video, then there's a good chance that the motherboard or the LCD screen is defective on this laptop. Maybe it's a loose connection, or if not, the best thing you could do, if none of these solutions work on this video, you want to um, Google up a, a repair shop near you and ask them questions and um, tell them your situation and what's wrong with your laptop and hopefully they could fix it for you. If any of these solutions work, like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.